This has been going on for a long time yeah. now. More talks this weekend to end the NBA lockout, which has now lasted nearly five months. The season that should have started a month ago is in jeopardy. And it's not just the players who aren't getting a paycheck. As correspondent John Blackstone reports, the ripple effect goes much deeper in some cities. There you go. So without professional basketball, what is it like in this town now? Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of depressing. Welcome to Portland, Oregon, without the Trailblazers. Okay. Timothy Daly runs a sports bar named after the year the Blazers last won a championship, 34 years ago. But fans remain loyal, he says, and the NBA lockout hurts. What would this look like in here on a game night? You'd have a full bar, people standing behind the stools, all of the tables full. It's a scene repeated across the country, but especially noticeable in cities with just one major sports team. <laughs> Portland fans have no one else to root for. They've been a part of our sports fabric for over 40 years, and there's a huge vacuum right now without their playing. In Portland, the Trailblazers are more than a basketball team. They're a larger-than-life presence. And the lockout has left this city even gloomier than its weather. It's also taken an economic toll. This all trickles down to real people as well. It really does. It's, it's the waiters and waitresses at the bars and restaurants. It's the taxi cab drivers. It's the vendors that sell cotton candy in the arena. And it's people like Clement Uduk. So. Working your way through school here. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. He works as an usher at Blazer Games for $11 an hour. Small change, but it means a lot to someone hoping to attend law school. We got a lot of rich owners, a lot of rich basketball players. Right. And then there's guys like you. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately in the world of bigger, better, more, the lesser, little, none don't have a voice or don't get seen. And it's especially tough when the Blazers are the only game in town. Is it as well then, like sort of the, the heart of Portland has stopped beating? I mean, is that a way to put it? That's actually really good. Without basketball, the Northwest winter will be longer than ever. John Blackstone, CBS News, Portland.